Hi everyone, Ella here. Today I want to give you a sneak peek of the Salty Toes Kaiser Craft mini album that we'll be making starting tomorrow, Monday, July the 20th on my Ustream show. Here's the link for my Ustream show. The name of it is Create with Ella. And there's the link. Here's the materials we'll be using to create the album. We'll be using the Salty Toe, Sandy Toes Kaiser Craft 6.5 paper pack. And here's some of the papers that you will see in the paper pack. They're really nice. It's really a nice beachy theme. You can use it for a vacation. You can use it for, you know, hanging out a day at the beach. Um, it's just very suitable. You could use it for even sitting by your pool. I mean, it's a lot of fun and pretty papers in here. There's the sand. The wind's blowing in my room here. Here's some anchors. Here's a nice uh, tidal, a big tidal wave there. The plank, like when you're walking on the pier or walking, you know, out to get on your boat. Hello, Summer. This is a really pretty page here. It's one of my favorites. Sand. Uh, big rope. There's some cut aparts in the back that we'll be using for the album. We can cut these apart and we will be doing that. You get two sheets of that. Uh, here's another nice page. Um, some of the pages have this um, texture on them that are kind of shiny if the light hits them the right way, but it's not a whole lot. It's just really, really nice in your album. Here's some punch outs. Let me go back a page that we'll be using in the album. And you just punch these out. And here's some borders. We're going to make a waterfall in the album. And we can use these borders possibly. Here's some more punch outs. And the last page. So you get a lot of punch outs in this six and a half uh, paper pad. The other thing we're going to be using is the Salty Toes sticker sheet. The nice thing about this sticker sheet is you get five of each of the alphabet letters and you get a lot of nice stickers for your album. And then we're going to be using the uh, Salty Kisses 12 by 12 paper pad. And there's 48 papers in this uh, collection here. So I'm just going to show you a few today. Here's a really nice one. Let me see if I can get the um, camera adjusted here. This is a really nice, uh, this is very Californian to me and Floridian a little bit, but it really reminds me of California. Here's a nice page right here. Enjoy the sunshine. I'm trying to find some really nice ones. Here's one of the, of the, the ones that I plan on using. Here's a, you know, a wooden plank with some pretty flowers growing up the side. Here's that tidal wave, that big old wave again. Here's some dots, dotted paper. Here's some more cut aparts that we can use in the album uh, for journaling or titles on our pages. Look at this pretty page. This is very pretty with the starfish and the seashells. Very, very pretty. Here's like a, um, a weave. This is one of my favorites in the collection with all the pretty seashells and um, the little um, seahorses right here. Really pretty paper. This whole collection is just very, very pretty. Here's another one, you know, sitting on the beach relaxing. We could all use some of that, right? This is a nice page. It looks like a canvas or burlap. Here's some anchors. Big heavy rope like you tie your sailboat up at the dock. Here's another view of seashells. It looks like you're looking down into the water at the little tidal pools on the beach and you uh, see the little seashells down there. And this is kind of fun. You're sitting here looking out. Isn't that nice? So that's the paper pad we're going to be using. Those are the papers and um, that we're using. Here's some of the embellishments because we're going to make a pocket page. And I'm going to show you a sample of an album that I made so you can get an idea of what we are going to be doing. 
We'll be using some um, glitter tape by Best Creations. Very, very pretty. In our pockets, we're going to be putting some um, Craft Melody glass beads. Very nice. The Prima metal clips. There's a sailboat, a lighthouse, an anchor, a seashell, a compass, fun, starfish, and hello sailor. You see those? Very nice. And of course, we'll have some satin ribbon, some heavy like rope twine, and other various ribbons and twine. We'll be using the Lawn Fawn uh, Polaroid die. And I'm going to tell you where you can get all of these in just a second. Uh, the Fab Scraps uh, Sunshine, Summer Paradise. Um, the Crafters Workshop, uh, this stencil is called Mini Punchinella. So this is going to reflect like little bubbles. We might do some stars. And uh, some corrugated paper. Uh, this is the Die Cuts with a View Corrugate Neutral Stack. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to take it and rip the top layer off, put some gesso, and give it that real beachy, grungy feel. Now here's the chipboard album we'll be using. It's a door album, and we're going to make it look like we are looking out at the beach, at the, you know, getting ready to go to the beach. So when you get your album, these pieces will be solid, and you'll take your craft knife and cut those out. So this is the front of our album, and then it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six solid pages. So you could say 12, front and back. Okay, and here's the ephemera that we're going to be using by die cut, uh, excuse me, Kaiser Crafts. This is the Sandy Toes ephemera. Lots of flip flops, lots of flip flops. But who doesn't love flip flops in the summertime? Surfing all summer long. Summer. Every summer has a story, a little journaling spot. My snapshots. Sun and sea is where I want to be. Seashell. Another a little starfish. Um, here's some little uh, pennants that we're going to use. We're going to make a pennant in the album. There's several of these in here. Here's some more. So lots of nice ephemera to use throughout the album. Now let me show you a sample that I made um, to give as a gift from a totally different collection, but we're going to be doing the same thing in our Salty Toes album that I did in this album. So here's the album that I made. Let me bring you in a little closer so you can give you a close-up. Move this out the way. So the name of this album is Dreams Do Come True. So here I cut out, you know, the front, and then I, when I put the paper on, I roughed it up with a sander. So you're, you'll need a sander so you can rough it up and give it the grungy beach feel. And then I put a little keyhole here. Home is where the heart is. A little sticker. Now I, the reason I didn't decorate the front any more is than I did is because. I wanted the paper underneath the show through, which says dream big. And here's the home and, you know, the hearts coming out of the home. So that's why I did not put anything in these windows. Then when you turn the page, you have a little banner. So those banners that I showed you, we'll be using those to make a banner like this. Then here's a little journaling spot. Um, here I left the frame open. I only secured it on the bottom and left the frame open so that when the recipient receives it, they can put their picture in it. And I've already put uh, score tape on the back, so all they have to do is peel that off once they put their picture in. This says family. Now here we um, have a Polaroid uh, frame that, the, again, the recipient, it's left open for them to put their picture in there. And it says love this. And then I had all this stuff I had in my stash. It was kind of funny because, you know, you really don't know what you have in your stash sometimes until you start digging in your stash. So I had these little buttons that said, um, 
not buttons rather, but these little uh, decorative pieces that said celebrate, friends, believe, love, dream, and memories. And I thought that was really a nice touch to put on a dream album. And then this was an embellishment I had, and I stuck that up there. And then the flower. Now this butterfly was silver. And all I did was take some Distress ink and daubed it on there and set it with the heat gun. And it's not rubbing off. So hint, hint. All right. And then I took the Garden Gate album and I made this little um, mini album. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a flip-flop mini album instead of the Garden Gate. So that's really cute. I can't wait to show you how to do that. Um, so here's the little mini album. It says Believe. It has an angel and a little puffy heart. And then um, you have here, I left again, a place for the recipient to be able to put their pictures behind. I didn't want to overpower the page with too much decoration. So I just took some washi tape and put down the middle of each page and then on the sides and decorated the frame a little bit with some various stickers and baubles. Again, the same thing that says joy and remember. So the album holds a total of, I think, between 25 and 27 pictures. And so depending on how creative you are and how big you, your pictures are, you could get maybe a few more. Now here, um, we made a waterfall. And this album, like I said, is made for a gift. So it's very specific to the person that I made it for. Um, this was a uh, cross that I purchased at a local craft store. And um, this was some satin ribbon that I dyed with Distress ink. So here's the waterfall. It says, remember every day. And this will hold, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, possibly twelve. So we're going to make a waterfall. <clears throat> Excuse me, losing my voice here. We're going to make a waterfall and put in our album also. We're going to use a different punch though. I think we're going to use the EK Success or uh, a uh, wavy border punch looks like waves but we will be doing a waterfall and then over here we're going to make a little pocket this one is life is beautiful and we're going to take some of those cut aparts and make little tags and on the back we use the um, project life cards and we just what I did was I went online and found some quotes I liked and printed them out and put them on the front and then on the back you could put a picture or you could journal so we're going to make some tags to go in our um, album. And then there's two, four, six tags. So again, you could put 12 pictures back there if you like. And then we use some um, um, foam tape to pop it up. These were some chipboard pieces I had. And I covered them in the paper and cut them you know, out. And then I highlighted with a uh, marker the words that I wanted to emphasize. So this is Special Little Memories. And these were some um, picture frames. Let me see if I can get books. There we go. <laughs> these were some picture, some Polaroid frames I had in my stash. And I only secured the bottom. So again, the pictures can go. And this person that's getting this album is a scrapbooker, crafter, mini album maker. So she will know what to do. If you're giving this to someone that does not uh, scrapbook, you might want to put a little note in here, you know, picture here or journal. So this is supposed to be the wall of your home decorated with pictures and special memories. And then this was a, um, a quote that I typed up on my computer that's very pertinent to this particular person. And then back here, I can't show I can't show you the finished part of these two pages because then the recipient will see that, and I don't want that person to see it. So this is just a mock-up where we're going to use the um, We Are Memory Keepers Fuse Tool, and we're going to make our own pockets. 
They'll be very similar to these pockets. There's one, two, three here. But we're going to use the fuse tool to make ours a little different. And then here, this is a double slider. Again, I'm sorry, I can't show you what's inside. But it's a double slider, and when you pull it out, there'll be a, a picture up here, and there'll be a little quote down here. And then the back of our album says, happiness, true happiness is found within the heart. So this is pretty much the way we're going to make that. We're going to make waterfalls. We're going to make a little mini album and various little things like that in our beach album. And then I put some little charms. I put a charm here that says keys. And I put some little charms pertinent to this album. So you can see that the album is pretty full but it stands up beautifully. I've had it standing up in my craft room, put some various ribbons on it and everything. So I hope you'll join me tomorrow at 11 o'clock Pacific time as we start working on our um, Salty Toes uh, mini album. If you have any questions, please uh, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Now all the products that I have shown you today can be purchased at scrapadabadoo.com and uh, they do ship internationally and their postage is really really good. So um, thank you for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow.